For the series below, we want to calculate the number of terms n that must be added in order to find the sum to the indicated accuracy. We want to find a partial sum where the absolute value of the error would be less than 0 0.001. For a convergent alternating series, such that a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n, which is the case for our series, the partial sum s sub n is less than or equal to a sub n plus one of the infinite sum s. So the infinite sum is always greater than or equal to this difference and less than or equal to this sum. So the approximation error when using the partial sum as an estimate of the infinite sum will be less than or equal to a sub n plus one. So going back to our example, we want to find n such that a sub n plus one would be less than the error of zero point zero zero one. Well, a sub n plus one would be three divided by the quantity n plus one to the one point two power. We want this to be less than zero point zero zero one. So to solve this, let's begin by multiplying both sides by the quantity n plus one to the one point two power to clear the fractions. Notice this simplifies to one, so now we have three is less than zero point zero zero one times the quantity n plus one to the one point two. Let's divide both sides by the decimal. So now we have three thousand is less than the quantity n plus one to the one point two power. Now for here, now from here, it might be helpful to write 1.2 as a fraction. 1.2 is equal to one and two tenths or 12 tenths, which is equal to six fifths. So let's go ahead and rewrite 1.2 as six fifths. The reason this might be helpful is we want to undo this exponent, and we can undo this exponent by raising both sides of the equation to the reciprocal power, which would be five six. Notice on the right, if we multiply the exponents, we'd get one, and therefore we have the quantity n plus one is greater than three thousand raised to the five six power. So now we'll go to the calculator. Three thousand raised to the power of five six is approximately seven hundred eighty nine point nine five two six. So to solve for n, we would subtract one on both sides. So we'd have n must be greater than 788.9526. And therefore, if we want the error to be less than 0 0.001, we'd have to use n equals 789, since we know n has to be a whole number. So in order for the error to be less than 0 0.001, we must find the sum of the first 789 terms of the infinite series. I hope you found this helpful.